always late. <laughs> All right, so coach, we'll open it up. We'll have you give an opening statement. Then yeah. we'll open up. For um, hey, a, a gritty win by our guys. I mean, uh, Stanford. You know, we knew knew it was a tough matchup, and you know, it's, it's not often. You know, in a conference tournament, you know, you you have a you take second. You know, out of twelve teams, and and uh, it's not often your your first game's a team that you play that you haven't beaten. And um, so, so yeah, I mean, we knew it was going to be a challenge, and you know th their size matches up with us pretty well, and uh, and you know they just they have a tendency to, to to make real timely shots against us, and they they just kept doing that over and over and over again, and then our guys hung with it, they hung with it, and we kind of ended up with a lineup out there that was able to switch some things and just give it a different look, and and um, and, and luckily our offense kept clicking all night, and, and they missed a few shots. And we were able to kind of get out to that eight, ten point lead, which we had in the first half. But this time, we did a better job, you know, not letting them cut back into that. All right, we'll start with the questions. Justin, go ahead. Uh, coach, an update on Kirk Creesa and his shoulder. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he he got he got, got some, some some sort of shoulder, you know, contusion type injury, and um, you know, I mean, I just talked to our trainer, and, and he felt, you know, he he will be he'll be better tomorrow than he was today. Um, and, and who knows? Maybe he's being a little dramatic and just wanted to prove he could shoot left-handed free throws. I mean, that was that was a little crazy. But 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 he's that kind of kid. So um, you know uh, uh, you know it was, it was a pretty cool moment. And um, you know I, I don't know if I I couldn't stop it as it was happening. But um, but, uh, but that but the kid's got he's got courage. I guess is a a way I can say here right now. So happy for him. At this point in the season, are you maybe hesitant to put a guy like that back in the lineup, considering you know you need him for the NCAA tournament? I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't really think like that. You know, I'm going to follow our trainer's advice, and um, you know, I, when when I walked out back onto the court, I, I I was under the assumption that he wasn't going to play, and and I was okay with that. I mean, that's kind of how I addressed the team at halftime. Like we're going to be fine. We've been here before, and and uh, and you know, and, and I feel like we would have found a a way to to pull it out one way or another. Other questions? I like Back. it. Easy night. <laughs> uh, for Umar, how, what motivated this performance tonight? It seemed like you were you guys dominated in the paint, fifty-four to twenty-two. How were you able to accomplish that tonight? Uh, we just play for each other. You know, guards found found me and Zoo pretty well, and Zoo also found me well to to give me the ball, and, and I just needed to deliver. And I took some quick shot, and then they just follow me. Brian. Coach, the the uh, points in the paint the last time you played Stanford was 42-24 uh, in their favor. I believe it was something like 54-22 tonight. I'm sure that that was the emphasis, but why do you think it was more effective tonight for you? Well, you know, we did a better job finishing, and I, I think, you know, we, you know, just, just in, um, as that Stanford game played out offensively, you know, we, we made a lot of threes. And, and and you know we we, we you know, I think we made 16 threes and, and which is a lot for us and uh, and and I just you know I think maybe we missed some layups in there and, and maybe we lost our conviction to kind of get the ball inside and today we, we did an incredible job you know hanging with the conviction and uh, I mean I don't know I have to put my glasses on here to see how many threes we took we took 19 threes and you know I told our guys probably up to 25 and I'd be okay so um, you know they they did a great job you know, uh, adhering to a plan. And I'll give these two guys credit up here. I mean, these guys, two guys, they, they, we, we don't talk about it much, but I, I was on these two this week, you know, these two in particular. And, and um, you know, they're, they're incredible, high-character guys. And, and the reason I was on them is because I knew they would respond. And uh, and, and I thought they were both uh, clutch and big-time tonight and uh, in a big-time game and a big-time environment. Coach, what adjustments did your team make on defense in terms of ball pressure in the second half? Well, the, the first thing is we, we, we just pressured the ball. We pressured the ball the whole game. You know, I mean, and, and hey, listen, it, 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 Stanford still scored, but but I just think that overall ball pressure, you know, they, they weren't quite as comfortable as they were last time when we played them. And then when we pressure, I think it activates us, and then hopefully, you know, that, that ball pressure and activity spills over into other areas of the game. So, uh, you know, Courtney is a special defender, and, and, and when, when he climbs into the ball, he, he's hard to play against, and so that's one of the first things I really noticed about him when we got him, and uh, and, and he was incredible there tonight. And Umar, Umar, you know, he, he's you know, one of the best paint rim protectors in the game, and, and when he's moving his feet in there and, and active, I mean, he, he's tough to play against, and I, and I think today, for the most part, we had more possessions where we did that. Lean in the back. Uh, there's one more game left to be played tonight, but I'm curious for all of you, the potential to play ASU again. I'm sure you guys 
are hungry to face them. Any thoughts on potentially facing ASU again? I'll, I'll let Courtney go here. Um, I don't think we are looking at it like that. And they're two great teams, so well, we play, we're never going to get their best shot. And uh, we just want to play our best game tomorrow and uh, rest up after today. Future coach, good answer. <laughs> Courtney, uh, is it fair to say that uh, the last game you had of the regular season was maybe not your best? What, what did you do to like shake that one off and, and maybe just make it a one-time thing? Yeah, it wasn't my best game, but um, like Tommy said, in practice he was coming at me. I was kind of getting frustrated a little bit, but that's his job to come at me and uh, make me respond in a big way. And then me and O talked a lot too, just off, off the court, just like we can't perform like that in big time games and expect our team to win. And I'm proud of him today, the way he bounced back and it kind of inspired me in the second half just to pick up how I was playing. Any other questions? Uh, yeah, just kind of want just you kind of hear touched on it, but just you know, having seen them for a third time, um, and they beat you previous time, second time, uh, second time, yeah, you get the second time. But uh, just what were the biggest adjustments you felt you guys made, and also for the players, just how much extra motivation was there in beating these guys, knowing that last time they had they had well, well, gotten you? Yeah. I mean, I, I, mean I, I don't know. These guys can tell you that. I mean, for me, there's no extra motivation. It's it's you're in a tournament. You win, you play tomorrow, you lose, you're done. I mean, I don't know what more motivation you need than that. And I think defensively today, I mean, we picked up our ball pressure. You know, they run a bunch of different sets and screening action. We just got through it. We were just were a lot tougher. And, and at Stanford, you know, I mean, I'll own – you know, a, a good portion of that loss, and I told these guys that we, we got a little tricky with our scout and, and and tried you know switching a bunch of things off the ball and maybe created too many decisions for our guys. And, and today we kept it simple and just kind of let them let them get loose a little bit. Coach, I know you don't pay attention to accolades. You're paycheck to paycheck, long neck to long neck guy. But you passed a uh, Bill Bill Guthridge for most congrats, coach. coach, in the first two seasons. What do you make of that? And what does the last two well, years mean? Well, I mean, it, it's an honor, and I told these guys, I, I honestly, I just want to play tomorrow, and and I'm so proud of these players, you know, for putting me in this position, and you know, and and maybe to to, to you know pass Bill Guthridge, it, it is a, even a little extra special honor for me because you know I remember you know I I had settled in I, I thought I was never leaving Gonzaga and I was I was totally okay with that and and I would tell people you know jokingly hey I mean I'll, I'll just be the next Bill Guthridge you know I'll be you know he was Dean Smith's right hand man I'll be Mark Few's right hand man and maybe get a few years to be the head coach at the end of my career and uh, and and I would have been happy with it so. Um, you know, I think it says something. I think it says something about Coach Guthridge and the loyalty he had, and 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 staying with that program. And you know, for me to kind of follow that path, and you know, and and have that loyalty to Gonzaga and to my mentor, and 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 stay with him all those years. I mean, I, I think it's a great formula to follow for a young coach. I mean, you, you come out of there seasoned. You come out of there maybe more ready, you know, than you expect to be because you, you know, you're just learning by osmosis from a great coach every day. Is is um, you know, it, it's it's something that you know can't be simulated. And and so you know, I'm I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for Mark Few. I'm thankful for Gonzaga. But but most of all, I'm thankful for these dudes, you know, that that wear the Arizona uniform and, and that I get a coach every day. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you. you guys.